WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. Indies trading to the downside. It's going to be a bloodbath is what it looks like. The Dow's off 735, a little over 2 percent, a little over 2 percent for the S&P 500. That's 95 points. NASDAQ is down 292, 2 percent there. The Russell off 2 and a quarter percent, 45 points. What is seven tenths for the Sox? You've got uh, gold's off 14 bucks, silver down 32 cents, lights recruit. Off a buck sixty-eight, natural gas is off thirty-two cents. Thirty-year Treasury is basically flat out here, trading out at one forty. Let's go spend a little time with our indice charts, see what they're communicating to you and I. Momentarily, in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the Dow Jones Industrials. And the Dow right now is uh, trading before trading below its green oscillator and change line, and it is taking out its TD nine count bottom. Let me just expand this chart out and just confirm that. Now, what you need to see today to negate that TD nine count bottom is a close below the price point of. 3410281. We're trading below that right now. If we get a close below that, what does that suggest? That suggests getting back to the uh, February swing point inside the Dow Jones Industrials. If we take a look at the S&P 500, it is negating this TD9 count breakout level. That suggests to move back to 4521 or it's uh, February 24th swing point out there. If we take a look at the NDX 100, it is testing. It's actually trading below its TD9 count breakout level, 13475. It is trading into the swing point uh, from the trading day of March the 14th. So that's the only savior in this market. Does price test and reject that level? A rejection would be a close back above 13,386.66. We're at 13,430 right now. Has price gotten down to 13,386? I don't think so. So watch uh, that. You've gotten down to 13,714. So price should at least tag that level. Now, if it closes inside there, that's a suggestion that the low of that swing point should get tested. Russell 2000 is trading into its swing point from February 23rd. That may be signaling to us that it wants to get down there and test that. The semis, they are trading below their swing point from March the 24th out there. What does that set up? That sets up lower price. That could be setting up a a large A to B equals CD to the downside. That smell uh, smells and spells trouble. Looks like the next price target for the semis are around 28.62. That is a TD nine count breakout level. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. And Tom O'Brien, he'll take us home from three to four. Please join me on Monday morning at eight o'clock sharp as I record the Trader's Edge show between eight and nine. Have a fantastic weekend, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week.